Hi friends, we have a little something to do today. I, it's 1040, I have not had breakfast, but I've gotten all four kids off to the bus. It is late start for three of them, regular for Ashley, and she is bringing a friend home from school today. She had plans to go to like a, it's called a family fun center, it's a little bit south of where we live, but I ordered the Groupon to pay for her ticket at 11 o'clock last night. If you know anything about Groupon, it takes 24 hours for the ticket to become valid. Totally forgot that. It's been a long time, but we decided to just let the girls play today. I think um, Ashley's friend, sister, her sister's like 21, 22. I think she has her sister on Wednesday afternoons because it's like early let out, and so she finds fun things to do with her. But now that Ashley, our Ashley, um, has become friends with her, they've ha asked her to tag along. And anyway, so that's why we've been doing that lately. But they're gonna come over here and play. Um, they're gonna be here in just a couple hours. We'll do the little family fun center next week when <laughs> the path becomes valid. Tonight at 11 p.m. they'll be able to go next week. It was like $26, so it's not like, oh, just buy another one, like at the place because it's normally $50 at the place. And so I'm like, I'm not paying that price. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make a cake. I'm practicing with this red velvet cake because this is the kind Chelsea wants for her birthday. Yes, her birthday is the last one that we celebrate. I gotta put you guys down. I gotta get some stuff done. Hers is the last one that we celebrate in um, April, but I am making cake tonight for a church activity. You're gonna be put down for a second. I'm making a cake tonight for a church activity. Our church women's group is celebrating their annual birthday from when we were organized. I don't even know how long. I'll find out later how, long, how many years it's been. But I have to, there, our centerpieces are little individual cake. Not individual, cake for each table. They'll have eight people at each table. And so they asked me to make a cake. I'm a little intimidated by it because I just saw one. Um, she's already made her cake. She's the one who made my palm tree cake. So I'm, I'm suddenly feeling a little intimidated. All right, so the reason why I'm using the red velvet cake is because I want to practice with buttercream frosting, like actually making buttercream. I need a higher, <laughs> I need a higher little lift for my camera. Maybe I'll go get my little tripod. All right, so I'm trying to practice with the red velvet because I want to make Chelsea's cake with it, but I want to make sure that I can cover it up the buttercream frosting. Half cup, I'm sure I'm doing this right. While I'm talking, multi-purpose. I meant to make this cake yesterday and I ran out of time. One, because I wasn't really motivated to make it yesterday. I'll just be honest. And two, I just ran out of time. I had to take Chelsea to her activity last night. They played Mafia. Do you have any of your kids or grandkids played Mafia? It's just a little run around whodunit kind of a game. So we're gonna get this all made up really quick. I'm gonna bake it in three little tins so that I can stack them. We'll make a little three tiered cake. I like these smaller ones because you only have to use one cake mix. So we're gonna make that really quick because I gotta get it cooled. Then I need to make the frosting and decorate it. And usually I do that in two days. So I gotta get it into the freezer after it's cooked to get it cooled down. I don't know if this is gonna work for tonight. I'm usually more prepared than this. Also, I had dreams of like having my hair straightened and down today. And then I realized I had to do all this and I was like, mm-mm, I might wet it and put it back into the little twist. And I tried. Alexa, set 22 minute timer. 22 minutes, starting now. All right, the cakes are done cooking. And yes, I have changed my shirt because I'm about to film another video. But the cakes are done and they are cooling down. Probably close to being able to stack them up and get them frosted. So I've got my butter. I made a lot more noise than I thought it was going to. I've got my butter here and it's nice and soft. I kind of set it on a tray in front of the uh, open oven after the cakes were done cooking. So that is nice and soft. So maybe before, uh, I think I'm going to film a video really quick. A dollar tree haul. You can see that tomorrow. And then I'm going to come back because I don't want to get this shirt dirty. I'm going to take it off and put my sweatshirt back on <laughs> so I don't get my shirt dirty. But we'll go ahead and get these frosted and then I'm going to stack like the stack and then maybe even a dirty frosting on it. And then I'll put them in the freezer and then I can put a final coat on it. I haven't decided how I'm decorating it yet. I think that's what's making me the most nervous is that I don't know how I'm gonna decorate it. Let me go film a video and then I'll be right back. All right, we did vanilla buttercream frosting. Next time I think I might do cream cheese. For Chelsea's cake, I might do a cream cheese cr frosting, but I have cut off the top. I will save that for the kids. They can eat that. I have the tops off these two, and then that will be the top of the cake. I don't know if this is gonna be enough frosting, so I'm gonna be careful. I might do a dirty frosting on this cake, or we might make more frosting later. We'll see. 
All right, I wanna make it very clear. I'm not good at this. While I volunteered to do this, I did not volunteer myself to do this. Someone else volunteered me to do this. I don't mind saying no if I really truly can't do something, but I can make a cake. I just can't promise how it's gonna turn out. It'll taste great, but I can't promise how it's gonna turn out. This probably will have to be a dirty frosty. I don't know. Let the red show through, right? I'm not even gonna get out piping bags and be all exact with this because it's just not necessary. Okay, so I kind of forgot that I was filming today and I have gotten quite creative. I've, I have like the baking supplies out. I have sprinkles out. I was perusing Pinterest on how to decorate this cake because I didn't want to make more frosting. Have fun. Ashley's little friend is here. So they're having a great time. Um, anyway, I should have shown you the process along the way, cause, but I just got into it. So now you get to just see the end product. It's a birthday party, and I didn't want to spend any money on this. I didn't want to have to go to the store. I didn't want to get more frosting. I didn't need it to be fancy. I'm not a good decorator, but I am a good crafter. I can get some washi tape and some sticks and do some damage. Do you want to see what I did? I did a little spring day. <laughs> All right, let me take you around. This is washi tape. Literally, I just put two pieces of tape together over some toothpick. You can see the toothpick on there. And then I sharpied happy birthday. And then I just cut little ribbon cuts out of it. I had this banner already. I've already used this banner before. And it was kind of my inspiration. I wanted to use that and kind of go with that. But then I just took washi tape and attached it to the other sticks. These are just like skewer sticks. And I did blue and pink and a little like green, like metallic one. And then I had white fabric and I just made that into little clouds. I put some tissue paper inside it and then this one is a little kite and I just again put tape together added a little string and the little toothpicks are the crossbars another little cloud and voila <laughs> I don't know it's not fancy it's not super fabulous but I can crack I just can't decorate a cake very well so it is what it is I'm gonna take this parchment paper and kind of get the sprinkles kind of in control because they're kind of currently all over the floor but I've got to be able to transport this so I'm kind of thinking I might put this whole thing into a cake pan and carry it to the church that way and then I can put it on the stand when I get there. I might actually just slide it off from the parchment paper when I get there. All right, we have some delinquents here. Chelsea's trying to get pencils for school and Ashley's not feeling well now that her friend is gone. No. No, I'm just, uh, no, I'm, it's not because she's gone that you don't feel well. You just don't feel well. So we've taken some Tums. It's right here on the counter. Taken some Tums and she's just trying to feel better. I have just been putting out fires all day long. So, you know, the other, I think it was about a week ago, I went to the bank and I did a deposit. I think, I think it was a deposit. And I was in a, I don't know, I wasn't in a rush. I just was doing my thing. And I turned to look at something in my purse. And I was like, okay, I've got everything. And I, and I went home. And by the time I got home, I came in here and I was checking my email and just doing different things. And the first email Email that popped up was security alert on your debit card we have we have secured your debit card please click here to activate a new one to be sent to you is this a joke so I didn't click on that email I just went ahead and logged into my bank account and I found out that I didn't take the debit card from the machine so it sucked it back in and I can't get it back out so not a big deal they mailed me a new one but I have so many payments set up through my debit card and my bank account. So today, when I sat down this morning, or this afternoon actually, to like start working on the computer and I always turn on something on Netflix or whatever to watch a show while I work through my stuff. Netflix, your payment information is not accurate. My utility bill. Your payment information is not accurate. Oh my God, here we go. Like I had to just go through and I don't know how many I have set up with my card versus my bank account anyway. And so, but, so then there's that. And then Abby is struggling with her bus driver. He's being a little prick. And uh, so I had to like, this is like the third time I've had to call the transportation department on this little guy. He's like old, he's like 70 years old and he just should not be driving a bus, but they have to. because There's no one else to drive the bus. And he just thinks it's okay to treat girls horribly. And then I have a little sick kid on the floor where is she? At my feet. She's right there. Anyway, and what else am I doing? I should be editing the next two videos. I'm just putting out, Bert, like, you know, just putting out fires. But I'm checking off things. Chelsea is officially registered for seventh grade and she signed up to do all of her electives in the field of art. Art and drawing and 3D design. And what else, what else did you do? She'll, she'll do, um, hopefully she'll do one with 3D printing, right? But also 3D sculpting, like uh, paper and, and different things like that origami, origami clay, different 3D. Like yeah, it's just like a clay type 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, It'll just be a very oh, um, involved kind of an art class. So that was kind of fun to get her registered for next year. I'm just trying to think. That's all I've been doing. My cake is done. I'm ready to go to my activity. <laughs> Jason should be on his way home from work, but I probably will only see him in passing. The activity is about a half hour earlier than I thought it was going to be. So I might. I'm kind of caught up on the computer. I, am, I did start to watch this new show on Netflix, Pieces of Her. So good. And I'm like on, on episode eat. four. They're literally, they're 20 minute episodes and the last like three minutes of the episode is just credit. So they're 17 minute episodes and it's been entertaining me as I've gotten in and out of emails, different things. So good. But I do need to go and sit down and read this book. I have gotten 150 pages into this book and it's, it's a good flip. It's a, yeah, 156 pages. So I'm going to go sit down, be away from the screen for a little while and see if Ashley will come and sit by me, right? If she can get up. Will you come and lay down next to me on the couch? Mm -hmm. Actually, Chelsea, will you cut her an apple? Can you get my Yes. Your mom is mouthing the word yes. Yes, I will, <laughs> though, dear mother. Yes, I will. I have to go do art. Anyway, I think an apple will she help this child. With Anne with an E is very good. Yes. We highly recommend Anne with an E. I, I recommend you take, oh, are you giving her this shirt? Do you not want that one anymore? I, yes, it does. Oh, the hand-me-downs in this house. Abby is going through a growth spurt, so she's handing stuff down to Chelsea. Chelsea is gaining speed on Abby, so she's getting Abby clothes and passing her clothes down to Ashley. It's like never ending. I thought like baby clothes, hand, baby clothes being handed down was a, a thing, but anyway, it's different when kids have different styles. I'm trying to pick the spot where the light coming in the window is gonna be right on my book. I think this is a good space. Kaylee, you and Jacob doing okay? And Jacob is here, and we are not going to discuss the Seahawks. Ah, uh, nothing to, there's nothing left to discuss. Yeah, there is, uh, there is no one left on the team to discuss. I don't even know if they're worth watching anymore, and that's breaking my heart right now. Right, we're in the car and I gotta try and get this down to the church without <laughs> it collapsing. I may be oh, kind of scared about it like tipping back into that little stand, but I was also scared of it tipping into the seat. We're just gonna have to go slow and hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. I am late and I hate with a passion. Lateness, tardiness, showing up to the party late is not my thing, especially when I have one of the cakes. But I had to fill in Jason about a few things I'm really nervous about this cake. If I can get permission from the other people who have decorations and cakes at this party, I will show you those because the girl that's in charge is killing it. You saw from the Valentine party we had. Oh, I, I showed you pictures of it, but I have my camera this time. So if she does a cute job decorating this time, I will show you that because she, she watches my videos and uh, she'll get a little showcase today. really quick. I'm still at the church and fabulous activity. It was really, really good. Dinner, we had soups and I think I showed it soups and salad were very good. And we got these cute little plants to take home. That one for me, another one for a lady who wasn't able to make it tonight. She lives right across the street from me. Very excellent activity. We also got a little baggie of chocolates. I haven't eaten this one. This was an extra one. But we talked a lot tonight about um, sisterhood and that's what the whole point of this, this activity is and the group of women um, and how important that is to have in your life. So if you don't have a friend in your life that you can count on or 10 or 20, find some. Even if it's just um, a conversation, even if it's me, it can be me and we can chat. I, I do that daily with a lot of you and I love that camaraderie and I think it's so important to be able to have someone that you can talk to, someone that you can share your worries or your joys, be able to 
uplift that person, but also to get that back. And I think that is so important for people, especially for women, especially for moms who don't always get that back from their children. So that was a lot of the focus tonight of making sure that we're there for people and also taking it for ourselves because we're better people when we are loved and we will be better people if we love others. So I'm gonna sign off with you guys. They did an excellent job decorating and then I will say goodnight to you guys. So take care and we'll see you guys next time.